Well, here we are back at the old wood burner. Doesn't look too bad down in there. Where's your domesticated hot water coil? Huge water tank for the all the more fire blocks it is. Tiny how little that fire box is. Compared to all that water jacket. No, the trouble I'm having. <coughs> A couple of these tubes, you see how they go clean to the bottom. That one right there that goes clean to the bottom is leaking, and there's one underneath the chimney right in the center that's leaking. Well, the issue I'm having is just trying to get this front apart, try to get that firebox out and do them tubes. I don't know if anybody might have some insight or anything how you guys have rebuilt wood burners, but I'm trying to learn because I'd like to do this one. I think I'm just going to have to blow the sides out here. And then over there, and then we'll chase them the whole way down the front and then pull this whole unit out. We'll have to pull all them rods out that are in there. This is an old furnace made up in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's about the only one I've ever seen. Can't find anything on the internet about it there. So uh, we live in Pennsylvania. We're actually one county over from Clearfield. So it would be pretty fun to get this thing going again she's an oldie but a goodie we put a stand underneath of it do all that fun stuff so i don't know that i'm going to get her re-going right now uh, i don't know that i got the time because i was going to do it myself uh, i've thought about maybe talking to some shops around here see if they could help me out uh it's just it's a lot of work so it's doable but it's going to be a pain so yeah let me know what you guys think love to hear back thanks bye